Okay, so this is going to be how you can do some really quick statistics. We'll talk about the descriptive statistics. So we can get these all pretty quickly once we've installed the um, data pack. So we have to be able to do data analysis. That's going to be located under the data tab. And once you've installed the analysis tool pack, you'll get this option over here on the right for data analysis. Okay, so what we can do here is we can open our data analysis and we see we have several different um, types that we can choose from. So right now we're going to start with descriptive statistics. So we can hit OK. And now it's going to ask us what do we want to summarize. So here, if I want to summarize just the stress, right, I can have that data here specified as column B, right? And notice I, I have my data grouped by columns here because all of the variables are in columns, not in rows. And I have checked that the labels first row. So that means that this is going to be the title of the variable rather than a, an observation. Okay, now you could change this to get both stress and symptoms being summarized if I do B through C. Okay, and still now here I've checked my summary statistics. It's going to put my out my uh, output on a new worksheet page. Okay, and it'll get me all the different summary statistics we've talked about by checking this box. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so here we go. We have a new sheet that's been built. So here are data back on the original seat sheet and the output, which I'm going to label this sheet descriptive output so that I know what it is. And you see that we have both of our variables summarized here, the symptoms variable and the stress variable. We have automatically got calculated for us the mean, the median, the mode, standard deviation, variance. Again, it notes that it's for a sample. Okay, so it uses n minus 1, not just n. Kurtosis skewness, which we discussed as aspects of distributional shape. It has the range, the minimum, the maximum. And down here, the count, which would be n. It's your total sample size. And we can see that if we go back to our data, that we have down to row 108, because our first row, of course, was the variable names. So we have 107 observations, which is what this tells us here. So this is our sample size, or n. Okay, so that's how you can do some quick descriptive statistics.